Ben orada ufak dönmüyor bu yok hani. Bodies of people in military uniforms litter the streets of Omdurman on the outskirts of the Sudanese capital witnesses reported on Thursday as the UN warned an intensifying fighting in the Darfur region in the seventh month of the war between the army and paramilitaries. Clashes continue in Khartoum and its suburbs as well as in Darfur. In the west of the country, while a new round of negotiations sponsored by Saudi Arabia and the United States ended this week without reaching an agreement on a ceasefire. Bodies of people in military uniform lie in the streets of the city center after yesterday's fighting. Witnesses in Omdurman said phoning from Wad Madani, south of Khartoum. Others reported that a shell had fallen on the Ainau Hospital north of Omudman, the last operational medical facility in the region killing a health worker. The UN also expressed concern about the humanitarian situation in Darfur. Hundreds of thousands of civilians and displaced people are now in grave danger in El Fetcher, the capital of North Darfur, due to a rapid deteriorating security situation, a lack of food and water. Toby Howard, the UN's deputy in humanitarian coordinator for Darfur, wrote on X, formerly Twitter. The Rapid Support Forces, RSF paramilitaries, and the Sudanese army are fighting for control of the town, and this will be a catastrophic impact on civilians, he added. For its part, the U.S. Embassy expressed its deep concern at reports on serious human rights violations committed by the RISF in Darfur. It reported in particular killings in the Amdaman region in the state of West Darfur and expressed concern that leaders and members of the Masoud, one of the largest non-Arab ethnic minorities in West Darfur, were being targeted. On Monday, the Sovereignty Council, the country's highest authority, announced the death of a pillar of the civil administration in West Darfur, assassinated by the RSF who attacked houses in the Admata region. Launched on 15th April, the war between the army and General Mohammed Hamdan the Gallows, RSF has claimed more than 9,000 lives, according to an estimate by the NGO Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, which is considered to be greatly underestimated. It has also displaced more than 6 million people and destroyed most of the country's infrastructure. The UN sounded the alarm on Thursday over the growing influx of people fleeing the fighting in South Sudan, both South Sudanese refugees and South Sudanese returning home. The number of people arriving in South Sudan increased by at least 50% in October compared to September, said Stephanie Dujalik, spokesman for the UN Secretary General in New York, adding that 366,000 men, women and children had crossed the border into South Sudan since 15th April.